say that. Fuck it up, power. Spit fire, tell them pick up your bucket of water. Yes, I have we are the plug of it up in a charge of me mind. Chatter me lap, but no run in a lava. Yeah. V12 engine lugs, we are harder. Add them copy, jam make them come with them grudge in a hard for. Anyway, me go, me go, need talk in a armor. On me, me shoes them too dear for me running a brada. Greetings and welcome to Jesse I Interviews, recorded and produced on the lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation here in Nam, otherwise known as Melbourne, Australia. I just have a very short interview for you today, one I actually forgot I ever did until I noticed it in my radio show archives. It's a brief chat with Jamaican dancehall artist DeMarco, which went live to air on my radio show Babylon Burning on PBS FM back in September 2013. DeMarco was here on tour at the time, actually spoke to me as he was boarding the plane from Sydney to Melbourne. Let's get straight into it. Jesse I interviews DeMarco, September 2013. No, no, we don't know where tomorrow might bring God the future, the hours away. So me, I live my life today. So me, I live my life today. Yeah, you're on PBS 106.7. Babylon Burning is the name of the program. And with me right now on the line from Sydney, just about to get on an airplane. DeMarco, thanks for joining us here on PBS. Mars Babylon Burning. DeMarco in the building representing Mad. What's going on? <laughs> we're there. Um, yeah, we've been playing your music for many years here on PBS. Uh, I've got to say, you're one of my personal favorites. So it's it's uh, a big, you, big, you. big excitement to have you in the place tonight. It's, uh, yeah, the, to be honest, it's the first time we've ever had one of the top tier dancehall artists from Jamaica at their prime performing live in this country. So uh, how well, do you feel about that? For real? Yeah, I feel honored, man. Yeah, I feel blessed. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to reach. <laughs> I can't wait to get over there. Well, you're just about to get, you're, on, you're just about to board a plane right now, is that right? Yeah, they call for me to board right now. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have to make this quick, but I wanted to take you back to the start and uh, find out where you were born and what life was like for you growing up. Well, I was born in, in Jamaica, St. Catherine. Um, life growing up, I mean, I was just always musical. I always wanted to do music. So, I mean, I am right now doing music, doing what I love. Right. Uh, so, so, how did you actually learn? Because I know that as well as being an artist, you've got serious skills in the studio. You're a real producer as well. How did you first come, become involved with the music on that level? Well, I started out um, selecting. Like, I, I started out as a DJ. Mm. You would call it DJ, playing records and stuff. And then after I was like, you know what I mean? I know how to DJ, I know how to scratch, I know how to do a lot of stuff. So um, I wanted to get into like producing. So I didn't have the, the resources to, to, to accomplish that. So I migrated and went to America where I um, got a job. Mm -hmm. And I got my job, you know what I mean? I saved my money and I bought a beat machine. And a friend of mine, he had one too, so he showed me how to program um, the drums. Mm -hmm. So, and I had, I had a keyboard from when I was younger, so I know the fool around with keys. So, basically, I just program the drums and play my play my stuff. So that's how I started to produce. Right. What? You know what, I mean? what? Your first big impact on the the music scene in Jamaica? Did it come as a producer or an artist? Huh? Your first, the first time when you made a, an impact in Jamaica, was it as a producer or an artist? It was an um, as a producer. Okay. Because I went, I was in America for a while, um, building on my craft, mm -hmm. and then I was like, "Yeah, I'm ready to go to Jamaica now to to see what's gonna, right? You know what can come out of this." So I went to Jamaica and I linked up with King Jamie's sons. Mm. You have Jam Two, you have Baby G, you have Jan Jan, I have CJ. Mm -hmm. I start building ri um, rhythms for them and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they would um, put out the rhythms and all of that stuff. So when I build a rhythm for them, I would do a song on the rhythm. Mm. So they would tell the disc jockey and... Thank you. Yeah, they would tell the disc jockey and everybody that, um, you know, this kid on the track, he made the track too, so give him a strength, you know what I mean? So I just keep on doing my thing until Fallen Soldier. Right. Yeah. Whoa. This is for my soldiers, real, real soldiers, yeah. This is for my fallen soldiers, we miss you. I know you can't be with you, can't find the back of Life is so real. And that must have been what, 2006, 2007? Yeah, 2006, 
seven. Uh huh. And then after that was uh, Dapino Who for Frighten. Was that the next uh, big hit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's when you really blew up. Yes. Right. So, yep. so tell us about the, 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 in the recent years, it seems like you're just going from strength to strength, getting uh, bigger and bigger. Hits like uh-huh. uh, in 2009, you know, True Friends, one of the biggest tunes, for me personally, the biggest tune of the year. And then uh, yeah. a couple of years ago, I Love My Life. Uh-huh. So wh- wh- what's the secret to this, uh, to this success? Where did this come from? This? The secret? Yeah, wh- wh- where did you get the inspiration for this kind of music? Um, life. <laughs> Life, everything in life experiences, you know what I mean? Because all the songs are talking about um, things that people can relate to or people go through in life, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Like true friends, I had somebody that I thought was my friend, you know what I mean? He, he, um, he, he dissed me, so you know what I mean? Mm. I'm like, when you have a real friend, you need to cherish that friend because you're hard to find. True, true. You understand? I'm fallen soldiers now. Um, I had a lot of my friends like like getting killed and stuff. So mm. I had to just sing a song. I had to sing a song for them, but I had to sing it so everybody could relate to it. So I couldn't call any names and stuff. Same. So I just sing the song. Um, so everybody can if they have somebody that pass pass away, they could put the song to that person. You understand? Mm. So it could be more universal. Mm-hmm. Well, another th- yeah, for real. Another thing I wanted to ask you about in uh, modern day Jamaican music, the auto tune is very prevalent. And when I think about artists that uh, that use the auto tune, you're one of the first names that springs to mind. Um, that's a style that not everybody likes in this country, but there's some people absolutely love it. Why why did you decide to take on to that that style and use the auto tune? The auto tune. Hmm. No, because really and truly, you know, I started out as, as a producer. Right. You understand? So I really didn't, I really didn't have the, have the passion at, at that time yet to, to really um, be an artist. I was in the, I was in the background. Because mm-hmm. when I started out and I got signed to a label called Starcut, mm-hmm. I was just a producer for another artist that they had, but. It it so it just worked out that you know what I mean I became the the real artist on the label. Same. Because I was right I was writing music to for people so I would write the, the songs like for Bounty Killer somebody and and they were like yo that kid yo this kid sound good yo mm-hmm. yo this kid yo you need to yo you need to yo put him out he sound good and then I start doing. You have to excuse me, I'm kind of packing up my stuff in the plane. Ah, I see. Do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so that's, 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 all, that's all the things. Right, right. Yeah, because I've noticed that in the last few years, um, not every song features the auto-tune, and a song like True Friend, there's not much auto-tune at all. No, so no, is, no. Is this a product of you becoming more comfortable vocally as an artist? Yes. Yeah. Same. So, so to... More, um, better now, I'm leaving... Even though the auto tune and stuff, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, so for tonight on a stage, for a stage show, you're going to be uh, totally comfortable and totally sounding mad. Yeah, man. You know, <laughs> we conquer all of that stuff, though. Man. That was at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, we could. I used to even use it on the stage, other to it. Right. Because you know, I just came out as a young artists and they heard me with the attitude voice I'm like oh my god if they don't hear this they're gonna kill me <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm comfortable now nice so um I believe you performed last night in New Caledonia yeah it was crazy yeah mad thing yeah. mad thing well, yeah, it was crazy. I love the vibe. Wicked. Well, all right. Well, tonight there's going to be some serious, vo- serious vibes in Melbourne. Trust me. Trust me. So um, I better let you go because you're about to take off. They're going to make you switch off that phone any minute. 
But okay. um, give thanks for joining us here on PBS. Is there any message you'd like to pass on before you go? No, I'm okay. Yeah. Anything else you'd yeah, like man, to... Yeah, man, the fans, them just look out for me, man. I'm coming over there. Coming over Melbourne. It's going to be crazy tonight. It's going to be crazy. The Marco represented. Mad. All right, give yeah, thanks man. to Marco. Have a safe yeah, flight. Man. We'll see you tonight. Right, respect. Enough blessings. Respect. As soon as I talk, drop out another one. Just man, just man. Remember the human race, I go still live on. Yeah. You live good today, yeah, live good today. For better tomorrow, yeah. no more sorrow. Yeah, we pray. Judge, please wash my sins away. I pray for the thugs, them we can and pass away. Every day, my remember the funny ends and enough music I play. Ja know me know, so you never know you did not go pass away. Ja know me know, so you never know you did not go pass away. Memories. No, no, yeah. DeMarco, speaking to me from his plane to Melbourne back in September 2013. His show in Melbourne was pretty wild that night, one for the history books. To be honest, I don't recall all that much of the actual performance. All I can really remember from the night are the scenes of absolute chaos as a big group of guys rushed the door and forced their way into the venue. Then all kinds of fights broke out. My wife Mina was pregnant at the time and had to basically take cover at the audio mixing desk before I was able to get her out a side door and off to safety. Crazy scenes. That's it for this one. Thanks as always to the patrons of the podcast, the Don Armageddon Time, the Real General Empress Irie, me Idrin Tom Tanaki, and me Chaji DJ Pablito. If you're not in a position to become a Patreon supporter, you can always still help the show by giving it a five-star rating on whatever podcast platform you use and letting other reggae nerds know about it. Thanks for listening. Eyes is every time. I'm here to say your chant down sound. Remember them sound and over there I lock the place, you know. <laughs> Yo, Jesse I. Remember them saying you know they're gonna play up on PBS, you know. I lock the whole radio there, you know. <laughs> them say, them say chant down sound, I hear that sound. I want to them chant down sound everywhere, though. No. Yeah, chant down sound. We go so <laughs> chant down love with them. Our sights when I use cards, I craft fish them. Want to stop with them clock cards, I craft fish them. Prosperity, I want cards, and I wish them no just the eyes of the youths when rich and drive jack No fire, your real your friend them a trap God's loyalty, we not in a nobody but We believe in a God Shout down, you can see a man's face But you can't see his heart From them and them evil of starts Them bad mind ways Can't tear you apart God have you seen a yard Rush crew shall represent for your true friend Just the eye represent for your real friend so represent for your true friend Jam down now nah, that's when I even my Jesse I Boom. We have to pick up all my friend them My friend them ever there We get our one food there the food have to share We tell them so we are gonna get rich for this air But them did they when Jesse I in a one pair I shoes your real true friend you know for use And if him tell us something trying to carry about the news and the rules Deception make up for fools Rush crucial watch your friends you choose You can see a man's face but you can't see his heart But the man them evil of starts Them bad mind ways Can't tear you apart God all me seen a yard Chop down so represent for your true friend God's crew shall represent for your real friend Just the eye Represent for your true friend Him the man chop down Just the eye Tell them Big up my true friend Now I do you some can't find Me we do without spend my last time When we did need it to help me the last time When we war evil no come cross mine From preschool straight back to class nine Remember when we bust the first vibe of class nine Quick for bust ahead if them try for cross line True friend indeed chant down So you can see a man's face Yeah, the marker represent for chant down